back to my channel, Life of Simrep, and in today's video, I'm really excited to show everyone my book collection. And I've always wanted to like show like everyone on YouTube my book collection, so today I finally get to do that. So yeah, let's get started. So the book, uh, so the first book in my collection is Beauty and the Beast. So this book is really nice because it has a great story. And I like really like the whole theme of it and like really love all the details. So this is the first book. It's called Beauty and the Beast. And then next in my book collection I have this book. Um, it's called The Collector. And this is a horror book by K.R. Alexander. And K.R. Alexander is a really nice author for like many horror books. And I love horror books, <laughs> my, um, personally, so I really like this book, but sometimes it gives me nightmares, so. Okay. Next, I have Princess Disgrace, A Royal Disaster, <laughs> and I really like the name of this one, and it kind of really cracks me up sometimes, and um, yeah, this is a really nice addition to my book collection as well. And then next I have this one from American Girl. It's the Welly Wishers um, collection. And um, I only have like one book of this whole collection and it's Ashlyn's Unsurprising Party. And it has a really nice story about like friendship and surprises. So, that's that. And then I have this one. Um, it's called Super Fairies. And this is basically like a adventure and action book and this is this has like four stories in one and each of these story is for like different all of the four different seasons. So yeah. It's that book. And then um, we have one. This is book number four from the family tree and it's called Home is the Place. And this book is very nice as well. I really like this one. And then this one I got from my fourth grade teacher um, as like a Christmas gift. And I really like this one too. It has a really nice story about um, a little girl that was um, in an orphanage. So this is a really ni nice book. Next I have Super Happy Party Bears knowing around and this one's really cute because um i love like little characters and books and this one has like a lot of those small little characters and stuff in it so this is really nice next i have one from star wars and um this one is really nice and it has um like many like three stories with different characters so this one's from star wars And then this one's actually a really nice one. Um, it's Molly's story. And this story is a great like book to read um, on like a rainy day because it really like gets you in the mood when you have like a blanket and you just curl up with some warm milk or something. And when you read this, you just feel so good. And this is a really nice story um, about like a girl and she has to take care of this dog that is lost and I really love it. Like this is just heart touching. This one has actually like a little funny story to it. So this actually, this cover, I had um, this cover of the book I had actually colored by myself. And the thing is that I wanted something to do one day and so um, I made my mommy order this for me. <laughs> And I haven't read it yet. All I wanted to do was just color the cover, that's it. And I didn't want to do anything else with it. So I haven't read anything, but I just colored the cover. That's all I wanted to do that day. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to move on with my Harry Potter books. So I have two books from Harry Potter. So the first one is this one. And it's Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. And this book is very nice. I'm about like, yeah, this far. 
end the book and I really like it and um, like it just gets me so happy whenever I read it and I really love Harry Potter he's like I love his books and um, I love the theme of the books so I love Harry Potter and then next I have Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone this is a very nice book too and um, actually these two my auntie from Canada sent me these two so auntie if you're watching me thank you so much for these two amazing books um, these really are like really complete my book collection um, and then I'm going to move on with Captain Underpants <laughs> and this name sounds really funny um, so these are the two books that I have from Captain Underpants I have um, them in full color and I have Captain Underpants and the big bad battle of the bionic booger boy <laughs> part one and um, it's the night of the nasty nostril nuggets <laughs> and oh my god this name is just it's way too much <laughs> and next I have Captain Underpants in full color and the wrath of the wicked witchy woman and this one um, this one I got second and then this one I got first so both of these are really funny and I love all the characters they have a really nice sense of humor <laughs> and I just really if you're having a bad day you just grab one of these books and you'll feel better instantly <laughs> so I really recommend these two books okay so next I want to move on to one of my favorite book series and it's the secret of the crystal fairies by Thea Stilton and these books are really nice because they're mainly for like girls um, I mean like I really like them because they're all about like rescuing and friendship and I really like that it includes like a lot of crystals because I'm all about crystals and gems and rhinestones and oh I really like this page in the book so and this one actually was the first one I got from this series. It was the Crystal Fairies, um, the Secret of the Crystal Fairies. And then um, I have the second one, which is the Cloud Castle um, from the Thea Stilton series. So these two books are really nice as well. Next, um, we have these ones. So these are more chapter books. So this one actually my grandpa gave me and this one's really nice it's called spirit born people and this is all about like you know um, like um, sickism and um, I really like this that is a really good meaning and I love reading this um, and I'll link all of these books down below if you want to check these out especially this one because um, I love this one so. And then um, we actually, me and my friend, we have like matching books um, from Owl Diaries. And she has a really nice one too. I forgot which one she had, but I have um, Ava and the New Owl from Owl Diaries. And this one is basically like a diary, kind of like a diary on the inside with like those little lines. But um, it's like kind of like when like an owl writes and it's a diary, that's what it kind of means. <laughs> So this is the Isle Diaries book. And that's the only book that I have in Isle Diaries like collection. Next, I have Dr. Kitty Cat. And this book's name is Posey the Puppy. And I got this one when I was like really young. But I didn't know how to like, because these words were kind of hard for me in the book. So my mom used to read, read this um, to me at night. So I, re I have like really good memories with this book because I used to love cats at that time and I really like this book. Go check that out. But, so. um, next I have Shopkins, Welcome to Chef Club. And the funny story behind this was that when I was a kid, I was just obsessed with Shopkins. I had like so many, more than about like a hundred Shopkins of really many figures. And I used to collect a lot of them and I was really excited when my mommy got me this book and this was um, like welcome to chef club I loved cooking at that time so um, I really liked this book 
Next we have this one that I got. It's called the Princess in Black and the Perfect Princess Party. So this is a book. And um, this book has chapters. It might not look like it has chapters, but it does have chapters. And it's about um, the Princess in Black's birthday party. And then next I have this one, which is I re extremely recommend this if you're going on like a road trip or like a flight or something or on the airplane because this keeps you busy the whole time because um, the pages are really cool. Um, I'll show you guys. So these are the pages and then um, you have to find Waldo and his friends and there's like a lot of rush <laughs> and it's like in a circus or something. So. Um, this book is really nice if you want to be entertained on like something like a wrong, like a long <laughs> road trip or like a plane flight. And then these two books um, I I got um, because every day in my online Zoom meetings um, we read like a book and we read like a chapter of a book, me and my class. So um, I got these two. And um, the first one I have is Number the Stars by Louise Lowry. And um, this is a really nice book and it has the John Newberry Medal um, for the most distin distinguished contribution to American literature for children. It's a very nice book. It has an extremely nice story. You, you guys would like love it if you love reading books like me. And we already finished this one. And then this one was my favorite one from the books that we read as a class. And this is about a um, dog and a girl. And they um, like meet each other. And the girl's name is Opal. And it's a really nice like story and like a really nice book about like a girl and a dog bonding. So I really, really recommend this as well. Next, um, after a few books, we'll then move on to my book sets, but um, I'll show you guys my collector guides. Um, so, um, this is not really a collector guide, but I like to like think of it as a collector guide because, um, like, I don't know, I just keep it in the collector, I, uh, cl collector guide um, kind of um, set. And this is just about the Klepto Cats. And it's called A Guide to Surviving Adorable Overlords. Uh, overload, yeah, Overlords. So, um, this is really cute because all of the little cats in here are really cute. And it has each of its like little story. And it has different types of cats like the chamber cats. And this is really funny. Next, we're moving on to the actual collector guides. And as I told you guys before that I was obsessed with Shopkins. Um, I have this Shopkins collector guide because I had so many of these Shopkins that I need a collector guide to keep up with um, which ones I have. So um, it tells you like um, all the Shopkins you can collect in season 3 and 4. And then at the end you have like these little checklists that you can like check off and um, see which Shopkins you have and don't. So this was the Shopkins collector guide. And then in the collector guide, last but not least, we had um, the Beanie Boos Ultimate Collector's Guide. And this is featuring over 300 Beanie Boos. Um, I don't have those many Beanie Boos. I only have like three or four. and But I still really like them. And I hope that one day I can collect all of those 300 Beanie Boos. Um, but I just got this one for fun. And then now let's move on to my book sets. So, um, my first book set that I have is um, from Mermaid Tales. So this is a book set of eight books, and um, each book has like a story of like one mermaid. Um, so it's like a whole group of friends that are mermaids, and like each book has a one mermaid story. So I really like these ones because it's really colorful and um, I love reading these. Um, although I've only read about like one or two of them out of all of the eight. Um, 
but hopefully I'll read them soon, like all of them. <laughs> but this is a Mermaid Tales um, set. Okay, so. Next we have my like cutest um, like book set. So this is Sophie Mouse. It's a Sophie Mouse book set. And um, this also has eight books um, in the whole set. And again, I have not read all of the books yet. I've maybe read like one or two. And like reading those, it makes me feel like, um, like these are not, actually these are not like all of the books in the Sophie Mouse collection. Um, there's one more that I really want to get. So hopefully I'll read them all and then get the other one too. But this is my Sophie Mouse collection. My books are like piling up on the floor. <laughs> And then my last book set that I had was, it's like really heavy, um, is the Disney book set, the Disney princess book set. And the really cool thing about this is that first and the whole book set you get like 12 books which is really cool because that's like a huge selection of books. And then the next thing that I really liked is that on um, like the side when you put the books in order from 1 to 12. It forms like a little castle on the side, which I think is really cute. And each, like this whole collection has one book for every single princess, um, every single Disney princess. So this is my Disney princess collection. Okay, so that was my whole like book sets. Now let's move on to my baking books. And um, I only have two baking books. And both of these I really like. Um, I've never made any recipe out of them. I just like collecting baking books and reading them. Um, some people might find that weird that I never make anything out of these, but I don't know why it's kind of therapeutic to me just to look at like recipes and why. But um, so the first one I have is my favorite baking book. Um, so this one is the Pinkalicious Cupcake Cookbook. And on the back, it has some recipes too. And then inside, it has many amazing recipes. And my favorite one has to be like the small little cupcake. And I'll show you guys that really quickly. Um, here we go. And this is the tiniest cupcake like I've ever seen. So they said that you can make this tiny cupcake with this recipe. So this is my Frankalicious recipe book. And then my last recipe book was by American Girl. And this is the recipes for cookies, cupcakes, and more baking book. And this has um, like more recipes than the other one. Um, that one just had a few ones. But this one has a ton. It has like over like a hundred recipes. And it's really nice. Um, it's like anything that you could ever imagine um, it's in here and I love this and hopefully I'll make one or two things out of this um, I hope <laughs> this is that book okay now moving on to my bedtime stories and I really like this collection because it reminds me of when I was little my mom used to read me all of these stories and she still does but um, like Sometimes I fall asleep early and I never get to hear the story. So, um, but these are my um, bedtime stories. And so this is called Bedtime Stories for Girls. And this one's really nice because it has like literally everything that I ever liked as a girl and I still do. Like from buttercream and cupcakes and cakes and dresses and ponies and like unicorns. Everything. And... It has many, many stories. It has like these many stories for you to read. So you can never like run out of stories. And I like it really like on the side. It has this thing that you can tie up. And then you have this one. This was actually the first ever bedtime storybook that I got. And I got this like a really long time ago. That's why you'll see there's like pencil marks on here. I don't know if you guys can really see, but there's like small little pencil marks on here. And this also has everything that I really liked and read as a little kid. From Little Bears to Candyland 
to princesses. It was everything, and I really love it. I really recommend this. If you want to have like a good book of uh, for bedtime stories, I really recommend that one. And then I have um, my Disney Princess storybook collection. And um, I really like this one because, again, like my book set, it has a story for every single princess. Like here, it says a story for every single princess. And that's my Disney Princess storybook collection. And I really like that on the side, the pages, pages are like silver. It adds like a nice touch. Next, um, this one I actually got a really long time ago too. This one actually was, I got this even before then my um, Treasury of Snuggle Up stories. So, um, this one was my stories of four four year olds book. And this has everything as well, the, all the tales I like. Um, so there's three more. So this one my dad actually got for me and he knows that I really love um, Minnie, um, Minnie and Mickey. So he got this for me one day. And this is really fun to read. Um, I've read like a few of the stories. I haven't read the whole thing, but um, I'll read the whole, hopefully I'll read the, like, the whole book. And then um, I also wanted to show this, this one as well. Um, it's the Amelia, I don't know if I'm saying this correctly, Amelia Bedelia <laughs> book. And this also has, um, this is also a storybook treasury of all of her, um, like, all of her storybook collections. This is one big book of all of like the Amelia Bedelia books, like not all, but um, like just five stories. And then I have this one. And this one is probably my favorite one out of all of those books. And I really like this one because my mommy and daddy um, like always have this um, message for me at the end of the day when they took me like and, and say like good night. And I really love that they always say like, I love you to the moon and back. And this is what um, this book is based on. And my mom always used to read this to me when I was little. And um, it's called Guess How Much I Love You, if you guys were wondering. So, this is Guess How Much I Love You. And then my last story is this one. It's the Big God Story. And this is a really nice story um, um, uh, because it's like tales from like the bible and it's really nice if you want to learn about like christianity and um it's really nice book so i will i definitely rec recommend um buying this one okay so now we are down to my last book um so let me show you guys this one so this is actually really nice too because i got this a few um not actually a few, but like, <coughs> um, like a few years ago. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And <coughs> um, this one is the Beauty and the Beast, um, by Robert Sabuda. And this one is a flip up, a uh, flip out book. But this is what happens. So. It's like paper and they made it into this amazing like origami type of thing. So like you open it up and there's like a big castle. And I really like this one. Because it has like this flip out book and it also has like this story going on in the middle of the flip out book. So this is um, another book of mine. So, um, guys, I just wanted to let you guys know that these are, like, not all of my books. I still have a bunch in the back, but, um, I thought that, like, if I would include the, like, those in, like, this video as well, then, um, I think it would have kind of been, like, boring, and you guys might have been, like, like, she's just showing books, <laughs> and, um, I think that, 
uh, like we should do maybe a part two of um, like this whole book collection thing so um, I will be making a part two of those books so please subscribe to my channel to make sure that you have that you will not miss out on part two because I'll be posting that very soon so um, I hope you guys like my book collection and um, I always wanted to share this with you and today I'm really happy that I did and for more amazing videos like this please subscribe to my youtube channel life of simrith and please follow me on instagram at life of simrith official and I'll see you very soon in my next video bye